Let's graph the linear equation y equals negative 4. And here's how we'll do it. We'll use a table of values, and then we'll look at slope-intercept form just to check our work. So it might be helpful to call this y equals, we don't have an x, but we could call that 0x minus 4. So it's still equal to y equals minus 4. It's just a little easier to work with. Because now we could say, what if x were 0? So if we have 0 for x, 0 times 0, that's just 0. So y equals negative 4. And these are just numbers I'm making up here for x. Let's try 4. If I have 0 times 4, that's 0. So y is still negative 4. And for any value we put in for x, we're going to have y equals negative 4. Let's put negative 7 in. y equals, so negative 7 times 0, that's 0. We end up with y is negative 4. So these are the points that we'll graph for this linear equation, y equals negative 4. So let's go to x is 0, and then y is negative 4, right there. If x is 4, y is negative 4. You can see everything's going to be on this line here. If x is negative 7, we'll go down here, y is negative 4. So we have this horizontal line here for y equals negative 4. Let's put a line through this, and then we can put arrows to show that it goes to infinity there. And that's our graph for y equals negative 4. You could also think about this with slope-intercept form here. We already have that slope-intercept form. So we have the b, that's the y-intercept, is negative 4. That's right here where we cross the y-intercept. And then m, the slope, is 0. So that means it doesn't rise or run. It just stays right along this horizontal line here. So that's it. That's the graph for y equals negative 4. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.